might call him keeper of the cans. A few years back, I seen these canvas backs out there, and I, I, I baited them to the shore, you know, and got them started feeding along the shore. And ever since then, they've been coming back every year. 81-year-old George Dreyer lives on a little bluff overlooking the Wicomico River at Mount Vernon. Once an avid duck hunter, he's now an avid duck protector. I ducked all my life. I killed uh, enough ducks <laughs> in my life, and I now I'm getting so I can't shoot very good. So I'm feeding these ducks and just to look at. The duck he speaks about is the famed canvas back, now a protected species. When they see me throwing the corn out, man, they, they've come flying in. <laughs> they fly from out there. So you throw the corn and you go what? What do you say? That's the way I call them. <laughs> what does that mean? I don't know what it means to them, <laughs> but they, they know what it means. George Dreyer religiously feeds his coveted canvas backs twice every day, at daybreak and again late in the afternoon. Yeah, they like that corn. Uh, they got sh when uh, I have a string, it's sometimes a string out a hundred yards long before they all get in here to feed. George's cans have declined over the years from a couple of thousand at the beginning to a few hundred now. But as long as there are canvas packs to be fed, he'll be there sprinkling corn along the river's edge. Here they come. <laughs> They're headed in. And that means absolute joy to George Dreyer, custodian of the canvas back.